Hey guys, and welcome back to Countdown Vampires. Let's continue. Let's uh, have a little bit of item management because... Uh, right, let's drop that down. We did have another belt of ammo as well, didn't we? Somewhere. Guess we can combine those. And we shall take that. Cool. Right, so we got 120 rounds for our M60, which is pretty gnarly. I might... Should I take the Magnum? Well, we got a lot of shotgun shells. I think we're okay for weapons for now. Let's put the Magnum rounds back. Just, you know, for science. Uh, right, put you back. We're going to use those two keys up. Probably eat a candy bar, I suppose. Looks like a Mars bar or something. There we go. I mean, it's obviously not a Mars bar. But that's kind of what it looks like to me. Right, let's go. Now we're feeling a little bit better. Take our M37 for a walk. Let's bust open this gate. Oh, yeah, shit. Forgot about these. Yeah, I'm done fucking around with you guys. So that's that key used up. And I'm still confused. Ah, we got a green moon. Uh, I'm still confused about the whole money thing. Like, apart from the fact that we used it. Oh, shit in hell. Hello. Welcome to the party, pal. Come on, daddy. Come on. Oof. Who's your daddy now, boyo? Who's your daddy? Who's next? Uh, actually. Can we aim at him? We can. Let's just fill him full of these. Run! Ow! Okay. That didn't work out overly great, did it? I don't see the point in wasting our shotgun if we don't need to, but then... I wouldn't say the shotgun's actually a waste on those things. We're really low on ammo. For the AR. But we might find some more as we go along. We, we're probably going to find some more as we go along. Uh, we need... Oh, hello. Right. How do we get out of here? Oh. Oh, right. There's a ladder there. <laughs> Didn't really look like a ladder. But sure. Why the devil not? Really? They're going to make us watch that again? I don't know how we activate... Oh. Oh, hello. I don't know how we're activating that. And to be honest, I don't really care. Come here, Wolfie. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get for fucking around with Keith. Okay. Uh, Where was... Chainsaw? It's back here somewhere. Oh, it's a good... Oh, God. It's a good thing we did get all these shotgun shells. Because, man... We got a lot of these gribbly motherfuckers. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Bad time to reload. Thought we had time. Thought we had time. Never trust a reload in one of these games. And we're injured again. Jeez. Okay. Uh, We're chewing through our ammo, though, aren't we? Holy smokes. Probably down to about 30 cent cartridges. Which, I know, that still sounds like, we, yeah, well, okay, we've got, we've got 34 left. Which is still a lot, I guess. We've still got the M60 in the back pocket, like, just in case we need it. Uh, let's drop an actual physical hard save here. Because I don't really trust save states that much. Especially not with this emulator. Because um, this emulator gets updated quite a lot, and last time it 
fucked up all when the emulator up when the emulator uploads it <laughs> i just give up i need coffee when the emulator updated it um got rid of all my save state not really sure how that actually happened but the memory cards were fine but it got rid of the save states so okay cool and now Wait, was... Do we want to take a health drink? What is our actual health? Health is on yellow. We're actually using a lot of health here. Very tempted to try the... M60, but... At the same time... I'm getting the feeling that it might be worth saving it. Saying that, we've got, you know, if we do come up against anything really properly gribbly, we do have uh, our Magnum. And we've got a lot for our Magnum. Uh, right. Where was... Where was that shack? Ah. Okay. Right, so I'm guessing um, the solid buildings are buildings that we can't go through. So we do actually have to go through the shop. Now, I'm guessing the shop's full of vampires, because that's what Masoto said. No, the shop is not full of vampires. I mean, that's good, I guess. Sure. And I ha also have a feeling that I've gone in the wrong direction. Well, maybe not, actually. Yeah, I think it was this one. It was. Okay. So, I guess the chainsaw isn't a weapon. There's a chainsaw storage shelf. It's locked and can't be opened. Okay, but we've got the key. Why do we have to use that manually? And most other keys that we, we don't have to use manually. very strange right we've got the chainsaw can we use this no you can't use it as a weapon ah oh, such disappoint like seriously they give us a freaking chainsaw and uh, i'm very disappointed game i'm disappointed and i'm 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 hurt do you know how cool that would have been? To start going ham with the chainsaw. Have you any idea how much fun it would have been to evil dead this place up? But no. Oh fuck me! Hello. We got hunters. We got spitty hunters. That's fine. Oh man, so much rush. Could I go into the fucking menu, please? So, one annoying thing. Ouch! One annoying thing is that we, we can't actually go into the menu until we've lowered our weapon. Which is really annoying, because you can see... Hang on. You can see just how slow it is for him to lower his weapon. We probably need some health. Those things, man. They do some serious damage. Uh, if we have to fight any more, I might whip out the M60. Give me some health. Give me some sugar, baby. We really are... Alright, we've got a bit left, but we're definitely going through it. But as I said, seriously, is there nowhere else now? To... Oh, might it be worth taking the Magnum? Nah, we'll save the Magnum. Um, is there seriously nowhere else to buy items from? It's weird. 
It's really strange. Um, now, let's go back over here. We're going to have enemies everywhere now, aren't we? We're literally going to have enemies out of our asshole. Ah, uh, well, maybe. All right, I mean, what do I know? Right. It is strange that he has to load going up to the ladder. Like, they have to load in that animation. This seems a bit... A bit much. Ooh. Oh, we got vampires. Uh, uh, let's drop them. Oh, they're the, yeah. Right. They're the tough ones. They're the slow-moving shamble. Well, actually, they're not that slow-moving, but they do a good amount of damage to us. So, we're not going to fuck around with these guys. But this is still the blue moon, though. So I guess there's no correlation after all with the color of the moon and what the vampires do. Okay. Because as far as I'm aware, we're still on a blue moon. Right. Oh shit, we've gone the wrong way somewhere. Ah, fucking hell, we didn't actually have to come back here at all. I've taken a wrong turn, guys. Bollocks. So, where do we go to go back? Uh, there's so many little areas in this game that literally seem to lead nowhere. Hmm. Right, I see, yeah. No, I don't see. Uh, yeah, I do. I do. We have to go back up the uh, forklift, don't we? Which means we have to go back through where there's all those little ladders. I remember. Man, what a mess. What a mess. So, we need to go up here, or oh, was it up there? No, that was where those vampire ladies were, the ones that we saved. Now we need to climb up the stack of identical cars, or identical trucks. Actually, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. Ah, oh, there it is. There, there it is. It's just like just blended into the background there. Uh, yeah, we know. We not use that anymore? Oh, right. We actually have to... Right. Okay. Silly me. How stupid of me. Right, now this leads us back to here. Yep, okay. Okay. We're on the same page. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ooh. Ooh. It's somewhat effective against these things. Okay. Rifle is where it's at for these beasts. It stuns them. Wish I'd known that. How much do we have left for the rifle? Not much. No, not much. Uh. Oh, right. We can't have two offensive weapons. Well, that's us. All right. Well, we'll take the M37 then. We'll take our shotgun for a walk. We can go through here. And see, look, yeah. Well, actually, now it's a red moon. So it, there's only certain transitions where it shows you what color the frickin' moon is. Okay. 
This is going to get ugly, isn't it? This is going to get really ugly. Okay. Uh, cat, please. No, don't jump up. Have you ruined anything? You ruined everything. Right, let's make a slow walk. See, we're going to have that wanker jump up behind us. Let's switch up to this. Oh, God. Wait, what? Oh, fuck me. Does it jam? I think it jams. Hang on. Okay, we're dead. We are so hosed here. Oh man, this is intense. This is some proper intense shotgun action. Reload. Oof. Right, I'm going to be a cheesy little fucker here. I'm going to save. Put down a save state. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to see how this behaves. Right. So it does. It jams. Okay. So the M60 jams. That's... Stupid. <sighs> we're obviously either using a very battered M60 or we're using poor ammo. <sighs> I can't believe the M60 jams. Like, why though? What's the point in that? That really fucks you over. What's? Why didn't they just make it so you had to reload it? Why allow you to stack it up with as much ammo as you can carry but then also make the weapon jam up oh that's just stupid that i'm sorry that's actually really dumb just make it hold 50 rounds and and force us to reload I don't, man, I don't understand. I was really looking forward to the M60. And then they fuck it up. Like that. Oh. Just one drink did it. Somehow. Okay. Uh... It might actually be worth us dropping the rifle. It's because the rifle's empty. Might be worth swapping the rifle out. For the handgun. I mean, we do have a lot of magnum bullets though, don't we? Hmm. I don't want to waste anything too, too good. Oh, we are almost out of shotgun as well. I don't want to waste anything too powerful on the vampires. That's the thing. And I know you know as well as I know, we are going to be fighting those vampires again. Right, let's just take this for now. The M60 is a very disappointing weapon. Uh, so where were we going that we needed the chainsaw? Yeah, it was that. No, it wasn't that door behind us because we can't go back up there, can we? Uh, oh yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure it's through this one. Is this the guest house with the... Shit that you can go downstairs. Oh, fucking hell. You know what? Smoke him.
Is he dead? He's not dead. Alright, the M60 is pretty rubbish. Alright, we can actually cycle this thing. Great. So if we manually clear this, does that reduce the chance of it actually jamming? <sighs> right, okay, cool. Uh, now, oh yeah, he's going down. We're going down, boys, boys and girls. And we're on caution again. Yeah, the, the way it eats through ammo as well, which you would imagine it would, but it should be a very powerful weapon. Like, it should be ridiculous. Oh, great. Oh, great. Should be done. That's good. Just the one of you? Surprise face. Now, what bullshit have we got down here? Okay, we look, we look good. We look good. Still red moon. I don't know how, like, it changes. Is that random? Is it like red moon for X amount of time from now on? Or how that works? I don't know. Right, let's go. I, I bet there's enemies and shit in here, isn't there? I mean, you can see why they were loading us up with weapons and ammo. But we're at the point now where we could probably use some more. Wouldn't mind some AR ammo. Oh, shit in hell. Hello. Ow. Ow, bad news. Bad news. Dead. Dead. Ow. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go get the Magnum. I'm definitely going to... Oh, actually, we, we put safe state down, didn't we? Uh, yes. Yes, we did. I can't if you remember what one's... Yes, one is to load. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, yeah, uh, we're... Yeah, Actually, <laughs> good thing we did put that save state down, because I can't remember where we last saved it, to be honest. Uh, okay, let's go and get the Magnum. We absolutely, at this point, need the firepower. The shotgun is... I wouldn't say it's obsolete, but it's getting there. I mean, these these hunters... These hunters are actually tough. Let's put an actual big boy save down, shall we? These hunters are actually really strong. Three of them in a room is quite dangerous. We also had a health drink on us that I forgot about. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's going to be a pain in the penis to actually go through this game again and try and complete it in nine hours. I think, as I said, I'm going to try and see if I can game shark it or something just so we can see the end. Because this ain't that great, Chief. I mean, it's okay. I've enjoyed a, a run through, but going through it again and trying to beat the time. Uh, I guess it depends how much we miss the time by. Let's take a candy bar too. Because, uh, all right, let's eat that. Now we'll, we'll we'll equip this. The rifle's very good against those amphibians because it seems to like stun them all the time. Whereas the shotgun, 
The shotgun doesn't really seem to stun the enemies that much. It's... Oh, fuck. Forgot about you. He's had enough. No, he hasn't. He's still moving. Now he's had enough. There we go. Oh, okay. These thing, this thing here sucks. There he is. One, two, three, four. There we go. Those things are horrible. Oh. Oh, hang on. We don't actually need to fight that one anyway, do we? Because we only need to go down here. Ugh, I've disappointed everybody. We have 12 shells left. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. One second, guys. Okay. So, let's go down. Down, down, deeper and down. Now, I think... Oh. There was definitely one of those zerglings down here. Yeah. Bastard got a shot off as well. There we go. Man, we really go through some ammo here, don't we? Uh, health isn't bad, I guess. Oh, I can't believe the M60 jams. Oh, that's such bullshit. Now, I can't remember what was down here. I don't think there's anything. No, there was nothing down here. Let's go. I will say one thing about these backgrounds. Even, you know, taking in, uh, you know, the fact that this is a PlayStation 1 game, they still, they're not that detailed. There's something about them. They're just not in, like, that good. You know, you go back and look at some of the, well, Resident Evil 1's kind of aged a little bit. But you look at some of the backgrounds from Resident Evil 2, they look really nice now, you know? They're really detailed. They're very rich in colours. These, I think that's what it is. There's a distinct lack of colour in this game. It's very bland. It, and I, I think that's fair as well. Say that. Now, it's not quite as bland as, say, for instance, Ow! Ow! We need health. Need health. Man, this is savage. Stun locked. Stun locked. Yeah, stunned. Stun locked. Stun locked. Dead. We're dead. <sighs> that is some serious bullshit. Oh. That's just awful. Absolutely awful. Uh, right. Oh, we've got to do that again, haven't we? No, I don't want to go to save. I want to go to my items. Oh, it's just absolutely terrible. The enemies shouldn't be able to stunlock you. I always, like, you know, think of these sort of games. If the enemies stunlock you... Why don't they just, just make it so they kill you straight away? There's no point in just being in a corner, being, you know, absolutely battered around. Just have it, just 